people i think it's time to discuss this because i woke up to some news that is just staggering because i literally made a video about this 11 days ago and turn around one freaking turn around and you see this star wars game by respawn has seemingly been canceled so at this point i gotta believe something now it's either i'm bad luck and i can't get excited about anything or my stuff is gonna get canceled like this is a perfect opportunity to say video game concepts because this is technically video game concepts and it is star wars by respawn unfortunately it's the mandalorian game so Fuck man, this sucks, dude. Let's let's get these details out, people. Let's see what they got to say before themselves, man. So this is coming from Twitter. I don't have the official information on hand, so we're gonna go through this accordingly. Played as a Mandalorian, not Din Djarin. Of course, I'm pretty sure there's there's multiple Mandalorians. Just think, you play as Young Revan or something. You know what I'm saying? You know how Star Wars like to woke shit up, but uh, it ain't like that. You know, there's lots of different variants of Mandalorians, people. We we know there's people from the Old Republic, the New, the High Republic, Mandalorians around and stuff like that. It's set in between a time of, let's just say, around the Empire. So it's going to be around then. It's not Din Djarin, of course, because there's many Mandalorians. Maybe it could stay. It could have been its own little thing, but let's keep on going. Pursued bounties across the galaxy. It is a bounty hunter game, which is what people wanted. People don't want to play jedi and sith anymore i say this all the time i don't let's go full screen for this crap i don't want to play a jedi or a sith anymore give me a bounty hunter or a smuggler right now that is what's in because you can do anything with the force we are tired of the force right now but if you're gonna do the force you gotta do something unique and i will take a sith 100 sith game no jedi Make me a, a freaking um, Force Unleashed 4, Force Unleashed 3 or something. Make it fire like that. Now, let's get back to this. When talking about this Star Wars game, there is one thing that I really hate when people talk about this. How should I say? Microtransactions. But with a game like this, specifically if it's a single player, it's not an open world game, you could have microtransaction if it's cosmetic only. But if I remember correctly, this game was first person, right? It was an FPS. There's no point having microtransactions if it's like that. Literally none at all. So we can X that out of there. So it is what it is, people. Man, the more I'm thinking about this, the more irritated I'm getting. Very fast-paced combat due to the jetpack. So, of course, you're going to have a thruster pack on your back going up the line left and right. That is what I'm assuming what they're really going to do. You can you can only do so much with a jet pack. Like, really, it's up and down. It's a lateral, you know. It is. It would have been a very interesting because if it's made by Respawn, it'd be similar fast-paced action to what Titanfall had. Because Titanfall's movement is top tier. There's never been any game besides, what, Infinite Warfare that, that had that pretty much fast movement that people really want back. Even Apex. Apex is pretty fast, but I'm pretty sure your type fall is a bit faster. Or they are living against the same people, they probably tweaked it or something like that. Next, main enemies were various types of stormtroopers. That would have been awesome because you could do a lot of stuff with stormtroopers. Of course, you have the basic stormtrooper. You can have the heavy trooper. You can have the purse trooper. You can have the one with the baton. You can do you can do a lot of things like that. You can even have custom style troopers. Like, because I'm a trooper fan. I will, I will stand a Stormtrooper heavy. That is what I do, man. I love Stormtroopers. Heck, I got Stormtrooper. I got a helmet over there from Lego. Man, that thing was freaking awesome putting together, man. That thing was awesome. Okay, boss-like enemies including AT-ATs and ATSTs. That's standard for Star Wars. You know, you can probably fight a TIE Fighter or something later on. Or a customized AT-AT. And, of course, getting bounties. If it's going to be a dynamic story, pretty much kind of like Jedi Survivor back then, that would have been awesome too, you know? But it is not open world. We know that. This, this is just a brief summary. You know, I'm not gonna, I was gonna come up with a longer video with this. But at this point, why? Why would I? I really wanted to play this game. Legit. Because EA don't put out bangers like they used to. They really don't. You know, Dragon Age and stuff ain't the same. Mass Effect won the same. It's like the talent ain't there. But this was something fresh. 
See what I'm saying? This was something genuinely fresh that had the potential to get another blockbuster IP from Star Wars, Lucasfilm. I don't know why they canceled it. Of course, it was canceled because the layoffs, the whole group was shelved. It was. But this was honestly a bad move. This was supposed to be, for me, the successor to Star Wars 1313. If you guys notice, Star Wars 1313 was a bounty hunter style game. It was. And this was the successor, and they let us down. And even then, they said they're going to move away from licensed IPs. Like, you can't make this up, man. Like, this is not... I understand Disney is getting your money, but some of these fans want... These niche kind of games like this, this is what we want. We do. You can get remakes and sequels all you want to, but this was something fresh, and you can always negotiate with them later on. Maybe you can't. I don't know. It's, it's crummy Disney. You ain't better negotiate with no megacorp. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, I'm I'm disappointed. Really, truly. So the next EA game I'm going to play is either Jedi Survivor 3 or Dragon Age Dreadwolf. It is what it is, people. And that's all I got to say, man. All right, y'all. I'm out.